your source for news from NAB 2018. Indie Shooter, brought to you by Akidio, Band Pro, Black Magic Design, Carl Zeiss, Panasonic, and Schneider Optics. Hi, Clint with Indie Shooter, continuing on our coverage of NAB 2018, again here at the at the Red Rock Micro booth yes, with sir. Brian Valente. Yes, and sir. what do we have here? This is a... Uh, Looks like a boom pole. Yeah, so this is actually the big the big product launch we had this year. Uh, it, Digiboom it is a gimbal stabilized mobile jib. Uh, we did this. Uh, there was a technology partnership we had with Disney Research and Development uh, that came to us with the initial prototype and some of the patents and the technology to do it. Uh, we're obviously a product company, as you know, we've been doing this kind of stuff, but we really love the idea and they've been using it with ESPN and ABC News for quite a while. So the kinds of use cases and the, the people who are using it, we felt really can give us some great feedback. And the result is Digiboom. We won a couple of best of show awards here. Wow. Uh, let me explain to you briefly what it is. So this is the idea, and it's more about uh, kind of handheld shooting. So traditionally in the field, maybe news, sports, events, um, you're shooting handheld, or maybe you have like a handheld gimbal, and you just want to have a little bit more uh, visual interest. So with Digiboom, we can still get those shots. This goes anywhere from three feet to six and a half feet. And Omar is going to demonstrate here. We have the ability to go booming way up above the crowd. We have the ability to oh, shoot wow, yeah. um, uh, floor level shots. And what's really nice is you can kind of create these cinematic movements that kind of combine all these things together. And because we have a uh, three axis um, powered gimbal, we can keep all those shots uh, steady and smooth. What makes us a little bit different than, uh, you know, the folks who are doing the DIY kind of gimbal on a stick or mm. camera on a stick is that obviously we have uh, the gimbal that's stabilized, but all of the control is, is happening now with the operator. So we have the ability to monitor everything that's going on. We have the ability to control the gimbal either manually or in one of the two automated modes. And with the Blackmagic Micro Studio camera, although it's not required, when you do plug that in, all of the camera controls now are in your fingertips. So focus, iris, zoom, gain, you know, all the settings you're ah, normally familiar yes. with in those cameras are now happening here. So that means that the shot you're getting is not kind of a point and pray type of thing. It's more of a, you can get exactly the things that you want. Uh, Omar is gonna show you that you can just release this and actually uh, push it out real easily. Oh, sorry, he's gonna do the, the balancing part. I thought he was gonna do something different, but um, this fulcrum strap allows you to actually balance it. So the nice thing is you don't have to worry about kind of just reaching out and stretching and, and kind of having a hard time holding it. This goes from three feet to six and a half feet, which gives you effectively a height of about eight or nine feet. Behind me, you'll see that we have extensions and it goes up to uh, even about uh, 12 feet uh, or even higher. There are three foot poles that can be stacked, so you can do a 20 or 30 foot pole if that's really what you want to do. And all of the connections happen inside of the, the boom. The last piece that makes it very uh, valuable and different is this brain back here. So this provides all of the smarts, but it provides all the power in a single point that powers the camera, the monitor, and the gimbal. And we have integrated audio throughout. So if someone's doing like a, a stick mic like you have here, we can plug that in and actually route it back up to the camera. So when we record it or if we're going live, your audio and your video is all happening at one time. So these look like just like DV batteries. Standard Sony BP oh, style batteries. And Sony we have an XLR connector a connection rather, so other types of external powers, if you want to do a, a V-mount type of battery, you can do it a P-tap and put it on the bottom for additional weight, but also longer run times. And uh, this, this is separate, obviously, but this is just showing that we can put a sound device on it? Or? Yeah, so we've seen in professional location situations, they want to do uh, professionally mixed things. So as I mentioned, you know, you have the stick mic, maybe you have the ambient from the camera, we'll route that down, mix it, and then send it back to the camera. Uh, for a lot of the things that are doing live, like ESPN, they want wireless, the ability to go out on the mat. So we've seen, for example, the NCAA wrestling finals this year. They were used Digiboom extensively. The NFL draft that's happening in two weeks, they can use it extensively. They want to see wireless video come out of this, and this is where we would mount it, just to show you an example uh, that it's broadcast ready. It's that workflow they want to see. All of the controls, are they coming out of the SDI, out of the camera? Or? I think we're actually the first guys to really take advantage of the expansion port on the micro studio camera. Uh -huh. So they announced that a while back. We were really intrigued by it. And in fact, uh, Blackmagic was part of this partnership. You saw in the press release oh, that cool Grant that? gave us a big quote. But when we looked at the, the expansion port, we said, this is exactly what we need, but we need more from it. And they saw what we were doing. They saw the potential and they actually did some firmware updates that made the expansion port a lot more functional and gave us this functionality. And how, how much like uh, kitted out are you seeing that it weighs, do you think? 
I don't know what the weight is exactly. Again, it sort of depends, but it's designed to be really lightweight. And that's part of the reason why the gimbal's relatively small. We recommend a very small camera. I mean, it supports up to six and a half pounds, but we really like the Micro Studio camera. And it's, we've been using this all day long. The combination of lightweight of the carbon fiber boom, the small uh, gimbal, the fulcrum strap that allows us to, to carry all those things. We have not had any problem the entire week shooting this. Wow. This is the first gimbal that Red Rock Micro has made, right? Yeah, so this is, represents a, a couple of firsts for us. It's the first in terms of a gimbal, but it's also the first to something that we really feel is kind of targeted towards broadcast, live production, event, location type things. And uh, we have some great use cases with ESPN and ABC News and how to go about doing this. When do we think this is going to hit the market? So we just announced this Monday, mm -hmm. as you know, brand new product. Um, it's going to be available summertime of this year. Pricing hasn't been finalized, but we think for uh, kind of the basic uh, digiboom, it's going to be under 4000 and for a nicely appointed kit with a flight case and a bunch of accessories. And by accessories, I mean, for example, we have a way to attach it to a fluid head and turn it into a true jib. So I mean, really useful oh, accessories. Wow. Uh, that's going to be under 5000 We've been doing a fair amount of live streaming as production companies, you know, want to increase their customers. Live streaming has become like a big part of what they're doing now. And this is a great device because you cannot control a crowd and they will not move for you. So if you want something, uh, that's a great, uh, that's a great product. So how many awards did you guys win? Uh, we won two best of show awards, uh, which was fantastic. It's nice to be acknowledged uh, for that. Uh, but more importantly, I think it really fits a need, uh, as you were describing, you know, live events, things like that. I mean, you get, get involved in a lot of crowds. You know, crowds come in weddings, they come in churches, they come in protests, they come in marches, they come in political uh, situations. And the ability to kind of what we, what we say is create that context of the, of the interview. So we're talking and then we can get up and above the crowd and see what's going on. It's a really nice way to add some production value and meaning. Absolutely. So uh, you're taking pre-orders now, I guess? We take, uh, yes, we're taking a deposits now, $500 deposits, fully refundable. But if someone wants to get in line and get this soon, uh, that's the best way to go about that. And that you can find out more about on our website, redrockmicro.com. Very cool. Thank you, Brian. Thank you guys for stopping by, Clint. Mm -hmm. Appreciate it. Your source for news from NAB 2018. Indie Shooter. Brought to you by Akidio, Band Pro, Black Magic Design, Carl Zeiss, Panasonic, and Schneider Optics.